Guys, you may have become aware of the buzz around all the harmful effects of fluoride, despite its recommended use to protect teeth against cavities. If you haven't, in a nutshell, it's a known neurotoxin that is dose-dependent, meaning the more you have in your system, the more it wreaks havoc on your body. The question is, how do you avoid fluoride and avoid cavities? Let's talk about it. Now, one thing I want to note right away is in order to truly avoid cavities and achieve optimal oral health, you have to do a few things regularly, including brushing and flossing your teeth correctly, as well as maintaining a healthy diet and lifestyle. Not an easy thing to do, but it all adds up. Basically, if you use the best product in the world, but you don't brush or floss regularly or properly, or you drink a bunch of soda or eat a lot of processed foods, all the wonderful products in the world will not prevent cavities or health problems for that matter. So you have to start with the basics. Brush, floss, eat well slash healthy, try to exercise, etc. Now, that being said, you can and certainly should support all those healthy habits with some good products. Now, fluoride has been the standard of care in American dentistry for decades in terms of preventing cavities. The problem with that, well, actually a couple of problems, is first of all, fluoride is a known toxin. So if you use too much, you literally have to call poison control and get help to get it out of your system. It affects a lot of major organs like kidneys, thyroid, brain, etc. The other problem is in order for fluoride to be effective at preventing cavities, it needs healthy slash adequate saliva to mix with and form fluorapatite to cover the teeth, thereby preventing demineralization, aka cavities. Now, if you're struggling with cavities, that usually means your saliva is not healthy to begin with, or there is not enough, so using fluoride, even prescription strength, may not be very helpful. So what's the solution? Well, there are a lot of non-fluoridated toothpaste out there, but they don't necessarily contain ingredients that will help protect against cavities. What you should look for in non-fluoridated toothpaste is a couple of cavity-fighting ingredients like xylitol, and hydroxyapatite. Now, xylitol is a sugar alcohol derived from birch wood, and it basically destroys cavity-causing bacteria. They can't digest xylitol, so they consume it and basically explode and can't proliferate and cause cavities on your teeth. The other ingredient, hydroxyapatite, is becoming more prominent in the oral health community for good reason. Hydroxyapatite is a calcium slash phosphate mineral, and it's actually the same ingredient as your teeth. It makes up about 97% of your enamel, or the surface layer, and about 70% of dentin, or the second slash inner layer. Because of this, hydroxyapatite can combine with your teeth and do some cool things like strengthen enamel, remineralize cavities, smooth out imperfections, meaning less stain, aka whiter looking teeth, and can even get rid of sensitivity for good, depending on the quality of the toothpaste. Speaking of which, it's super important to note that not all hydroxyapatite toothpaste is created equal. In order for your hydroxyapatite toothpaste to be effective, it needs to be made of nano-sized particles at a concentration of 10% in the final product. Since hydroxyapatite is a pretty new ingredient in the American market, it's not regulated, so a lot of companies are not following the science and instead just throwing in random particle sizes and concentrations into their formula. But studies show that the most effective hydroxyapatite toothpaste needs to have 10% nano-sized particles in the final product. One brand that does follow the science is Ollie. They use the recommended 10% nano-sized particles, and as a bonus, they include xylitol in their formula as an added protection against cavities. Now, it can be scary to turn from something tried and true in terms of traditional fluoride toothpaste, so they have a couple of formulas, one with fluoride and one without. If you're ready to switch completely to a non-fluoridated formula, check out their clean mint version. And if you want to do a combo of fluoride and hydroxyapatite, you can try their fresh mint formula. Check out their website, ollysmile.com, for more details. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your teeth.